Welcome back boys and girls to our brand new video. In this video, we will show you how to fill in the damage caused by rock chipping. Of course, we will try to do this without repainting the hood. The hood right now is in a catastrophic condition, but we will fill it in and polish it out and the hood will be in a wonderful condition after that. For anyone who doesn't know much about Mercedes-Benz vehicles, the paint color code is located in the passenger door sill. If you can see here, it's located on this sticker. So the paint code here tells us that this is a pure black color. So what will we need for this process? Well, first of all, we need the paint. However, this is not a normal base paint. This is an acrylic base paint, which means there is no clear coat required once you put on this paint. We also need the hardener, which goes in and mixes with the base. We will also need the scraper. In our case, it is the Mirka scraper and sanding papers, in this case, Kovacs brand ones. So we will use these little devices to sand down all the points that we fill in with the new paint. And of course, one of the most important things that we need today is this needle, which you've seen in previous videos. We will have to clean it up a little bit. But, Let's continue with the actual process of mixing the base acrylic color with the hardener. So let's take our paint. Uh, in the continuation of the video, I will explain why we are using the acrylic base instead of the ordinary base and why we are mixing it with the hardener and not um, the clear coat and the hardener. So to mix, you can take a bottle cork and this is what I usually use. So we'll take the base acrylic, put a little bit inside. So now let's put in the hardener. Now there's very little amount of hardener required to put into this acrylic base and its purpose is to harden the paint. So once we apply the paint and it hardens, it is easy to sand down. Take your time mixing the two together. It takes quite an amount of time to do this properly. Do not be in any haste. Once you've finished mixing, the best thing to do is to leave it be for about 10 minutes. Why? Well, because if you start using the mixture right now, it will just spill and drag all over the place. It will not hold once you put it into the dents. So leave it for 10 minutes, take it and start filling in the holes. Before you begin any kind of filling process, you need to degrease the surface. This is very important. Also, once you start filling in, use very small amounts of color. So you can see how much there is on the needle. This is more than enough. So when you're applying the paint, do not tap it in or press it into the paint, uh, into the surface. This will cause that specific point to get imprinted with the paint, but the rest of it to be very loosely um, held together. Which means when you start sanding down, most of it will just chip away and you'll have to repeat the process. Instead, just lightly press the color on the hole and let it fill in on its own. So do not press physically into the metal. Instead, just touch the surface with the paint and let the paint do the rest. Now it's also important to note that you have to 
go around the hole with the paint as well. It's not sufficient to just fill the hole with the paint, you have to go over it to have some extra material. We will show you why we do this once we start the sanding process. As you can see on the area we just pressed in uh, the paint, the paint kind of dried out from around and stuck to the center of the pressing, which means that there's insufficient paint here. But also that once we start the sanding process, all of this color will just chip away. So just put the needle closely and let the paint drip from it into the hole. So now I will continue on with filling in the rest of the hood. But you have to remember, you have to leave the finished um, work for at least 24 hours so that the paint will have sufficient time to harden and bond with the surface. Now here we have a little scratch and we will also try to fill it in with the paint as you've probably seen how it's done in one of my previous videos. You can use many things to fill in the scratches. Uh, you can use a razor, you can reuse this needle, you can use a toothpick if you want, a pencil or a pen. Basically the most important thing is that the tip is sharp, that it doesn't gather dust, etc. Also remember again that we need to put enough paint to go over the factory paint. So not just to fill in the scratch or a hole, but to go over it. So once you start sanding down, you will know immediately that when you level everything, you are done. There's no ne necessary work um, required after that. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. So, now that the 24 hours have passed, let's see what we have here. As you can see, these points that are filled in now are very hard and they are ready to be sanded down. So there are two ways in which you can uh, sand these uh, items down. One of them is using the Kovacs paper, 2500 grit. But I do not recommend using this because it's quite big and what you are doing here is removing the factory paint as well as the fill-in. So I recommend this item which is mostly, mostly used to remove the drips uh, during the painting. So once you remove the surface, you can see that we have two sides. We have the fine and the coarse side. So take the finer side, put it on the paint job, on the fill-in, and scrape away gently. And 
there we go, just like that, you came upon the flat surface. Now we will do the rest of the process on this specific part and polish it so that you can actually see what the final result looks like. As you can see, we removed everything that we've filled in. Everything is pretty much flat when it comes to the filled in areas. So now we will move on to the actual process of polishing and we will compare this side of the hood to the other side. Later on, we will finish the entirety of this hood. I do hope that all of you enjoyed this video as well as the other ones that I've put out uh, on a very frequent basis. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to see anything new. Please um, do recommend it to me. Hit the notification button as well as the bell icon to get the first notifications when I put out the videos. And boys and girls, stay safe and goodbye.